Hello everyone. All right, so let's talk about the print function's ending newline character. And this is what I mean by that. When you, anytime you use a print function and you display something, I'm going to type in, we are learning Python. I'm going to have another print statement right after it. I'm going to make a copy of this, paste it. And I'm going to change this to we are learning Python again. I'm going to have one, la or co let's see, a couple more. Let's have a couple more. I'm going to say we're learning Python again and again. And one last statement saying that we're learning Python one more time. Or let's say forever. <laughs> All right. So anytime you have print statements this way, I'm going to go ahead and run it. By default, each print function displays whatever you want it to display. So with this, for example, it displays what, whatever you want it to display. But then it ends it with a new line character. And what a new line character is, this, this special command that you don't see with your eyes. It's kind of designed with a print function. After displaying whatever, whatever you told it to display, it ends it with a new line character, which means that it's going to move the position from where it's at, the end of the line, to the next line. And so anything that follows this first line, for example, anything that follows this first line, is going to be displayed from the next line going. That means that when this first line was displayed, when we are learning Python was displayed, the print function by default ended it with a new line character, which means a new line, which means it moved the position from here to the next line and anything that came after it. The next thing that came after it was this line here. See, that line was displayed from the next line going. That, that's because anytime you use a print function by default, it, it moves the position from the end of that line to the next line and anything that comes after that print function is displayed from that next line going. That's the default behavior of the print function. You can change it. It's, it's a value that we set for the ending character of the print function. So in other words, you can say that when you print this word, uh, sorry, print the string, we are learning Python, this is how you change it. You, you pass it in as a different, as a new argument. So you, you type in your comma and you pass it in as a new argument. The, the value of the parameter is end. And end is what you change the value of. By default, it's a new line character. It's the new line character that we can't see with our eyes. But we can change it from a, from a new line character to something else. So end is what we change. You set it equal to whatever you want the print function to end your, you know, whatever you're displaying with. I'm going to change it from a new line character to the, to the, word, to, to the word the end. What I'm saying is this, after you display the, the string, we are learning Python. After you display the string, instead of ending with a new line character, instead of breaking it from, the, breaking it from here to the next line, breaking the position from here to the next line, and waiting for the next thing to be displayed, end it instead with the word the end, and then continue. So I'm going to run this. I it's kind of it's kind of looking very um, n not too organized, right? But all I, all I'm saying is this. End this. We are learning Python with the where the end, and it, it did just that. And then now anything that came after the next thing that came after that line, which is we are learning Python again, was basically continued from where that the end was, from where this the end was. Now this. Okay, has been broken to the next line. That's because again, the print function by default ends whatever you're displaying with a new line character, meaning it displays whatever you want to display, but it breaks from that point, it moves the position from that point to the next line. And anything that is displayed or anything that comes right after that, which is this, is displayed from the next line going. By default, that's how the print function works. Okay, and because this one also was displayed we are learning Python again and again. It ends with a new line character. That means that the position was moved from here to the next line. And anything that came after it, which was this, or which is this, was displayed from the next line going. We can change all of that. We can say that end each one of them. I'm going to, again, pass that as a different argument. Set the end to the end. We can do the same thing for this. Set, set the end, then value to the end. By the way, you can also, instead of using double quotations for these, you can use single quotations. All right, so set the end comma, pass the argument, set the end and value to be the string, the end. So anytime that each one of these lines are displayed, 
it's going to end the print function is going to end that line with the the string the end so when I run this we can see that each one of them each one of them okay, over here is ending with after displaying the first one it ends with the end after displaying the second one it ends with the end and so on and so forth all right you can also say that instead of displaying or instead of ending with a new line character instead of breaking it you can end end each of them with a space you can you can say this again you can change this to single quotations if you want instead of double quotations I tend to use double quotations so you can say that end with a space this is a space a space is a character I'm going to do the same thing for these end with a space end with a space and run it so that means that after displaying we are learning with Py we're learning Python that's this line it ended with a space and we can see the space right here and then it displayed we're learning Python again and it ended that with a space also right and so on and so forth you can end it with anything you want now if you wanted to end each line with nothing right you can do that right now there's a space in here you're saying you're saying that each line should end with a space but you can remove the space and what you're saying is that set the ending value to nothing which means after displaying this line end it with nothing and then whatever comes right after that should continue from there should continue right from there when you display this we are learning Python again end it with nothing we remove that space so there's, this is what's called an empty string there's nothing in the string okay end it with nothing so right after this line is displayed not it ends with nothing and then whatever comes right after that is displayed from that point going so when I run this we can see that right when it displayed we are learning Python it ended with nothing and then the next statement continue right from there we are learning Python again it ended with nothing because we've changed the ending value we've changed the ending value now assuming we wanted to end this last one here we are learning Python forever with only that would let's that would let's say um, um, I don't know maybe hyphens let's say four hyphens we can do that so now just this line over here we are learning Python forever is going to end with four hyphens and so when we run we can see that just this line over here is ending with four hyphens and so this will come handy when, when you're trying to display multiple items or when you're trying to you know create your print functions and you know display stuff it's going to come come handy when you want to you know display them in a certain way all right all right so I hope you get this if you have any questions, please comment down below and I'll do everything to respond to them as always. Thank you very much for watching. Take care of yourselves and I'll see you next time with the next video. All right then. Bye-bye.